Getting Started with ePostings for CS SoftEmp Practice Management Software. With ePostings, you can now receive explanation of benefits, EOBs, electronically and post the associated payment information automatically in just a few easy steps. If you are not currently a subscriber, contact a CareStream Dental representative at 800-262-8593. Processing ePostings Payments ePostings are loaded into SoftEnt during eClaims and eStatements transmissions. The ePostings notification section of the Practice Central window lists the number of outstanding ePostings payments and the status. From the main menu, select Insurance, Insurance Payments, ePostings Service, ePostings Payment Viewer. The ePostings Payment Viewer window displays a list of ePostings that have not yet been posted in SoftEnt. Information in this window includes the insurance company, the date the ePosting was received, the date the payment was made, the check number or routing number for the payment, the total amount of the payment, the amount not covered by the payment, and the number of claims in the payment. The status column indicates the current stage of the payment. The type of payment is displayed, and the final column indicates if the payment is for a claim that has been placed on hold. In the status column, Ready indicates the payment information for the claim has been confirmed, and the e-posting can be posted. Only post payments if your office has received the check or the deposit. A waiting status means that all claims covered by this payment were matched successfully, but no payment was posted. A needs attention status means one or more claims included in the payment needs an adjustment. Finally, the status nothing to post indicates that all claims from this payment have been posted using another method, such as the bulk insurance option. To see more information about a payment, select the payment and click View Details. The ePostings Payment Detail window includes the name of the patients in this ePosting and details on the payment. The SoftEnt section displays the amount that was submitted to the insurance and the estimated payment. The ePosting section shows what was actually paid, the amount for which the patient is responsible, and other information. Reasons for discrepancies are listed in the Distribution Reasons field. To revise distribution for a payment made on a claim, select the status and edit the distribution. When editing the distribution, no funds can remain in the Other Adjustment field. To move funds to the write-off field, type the amount in the appropriate cell for that column. Tab to the next field to zero out the Other Adjustment field. Click OK to return to the ePostings Payment Detail window. Notice that the status for this claim has changed to Ready. A payment is ready to post, meaning the insurance estimation in SoftEnt matches the insurance payment when the status is ready. If the status is Need Claim, select the outstanding claim to associate with the payment. Repeat this process for each claim listed. When all adjustments are complete, click Post All to post payments and write off amounts to the patient's transactions and to save the explanation of benefits to the patient's documents. Post All is grayed out until all claims display a status of Ready. Accessing Explanations of Benefits From the Options pane of the Patient window, select Documents. Select ERA EOBs. Double-click an EOB to display the information. Viewing completed ePostings payments. Select Insurance, Insurance Payments, ePostings Service, Completed ePostings Payments. The Completed ePostings Payments window provides a list of ePostings payments that have been posted. Optimize ePostings. Claims that you cannot post via ePostings can be marked as not postable. This enables you to post a payment for the other patients that are part of the ePosting. You must then reconcile discrepancies. To do so, open the individual patient's listing and manually post the payment amount. To add a note, highlight the claim in the list and select Edit View Payment Note from the Options pane. When you select Post All, 
it is added to the patient's transactions. If you have already manually posted a check for an e-posting, you can remove it from the list. To do so, highlight the e-posting and click Delete. When an e-posting is posted, it is automatically removed from the list. This concludes getting started with e-postings for CS SoftEnt Practice Management Software.